motherfucking low. It's big motherfucking heavy. You know, you see me on Big Legs Baddies Collection, The Academy Season 1, and The Mint, you know. <laughs> You're watching a breakdown on Now That's TV. Well, I forgot I bit her. <laughs> Literally, I forgot. Ooh, damn. Um, I that it shows you don't go in people's shit. You never know. Just don't go in their shit. Ask first. Don't matter if you whatever. Just ask. You know, it might not went that way. I definitely. It's been a minute, so I forgot why we was into it at that time. But yeah, don't go through people's shit. That's how you get fucked up. You know. The big heaven way. <laughs> um, okay, so I was basically just came in my room because after she had just fought Huckleberry, I'm check my shit. I see all my important shit is out of my bag. So when I look back, like, I know you didn't go through my shit before you even fought Huckleberry. That was going through my mind. Like, I know you didn't disrespect me like that. And when I asked her, she said, yeah. And I said, you know, you're about to get an ass whooping, right? And she said, yeah. And I just jumped on her. Like, that's all I could remember. Like, stop playing with me. Like, don't go through my shit without asking. And you ain't even find shit. Me and Ferrari right now, I don't got no beef with her. I just don't fuck with her. <laughs> For this situation, I was already mad from when I beat her ass in the motherfucking, um, when me and Pink got into this squad. I was already mad and already over it by the time we finished out of the uh, kitchen. So when it got to this point, I already was high. But my nail got stuck in her nappy ass head. I don't regret anything that happened. I just wish my nail wouldn't got stuck in her head so we could have really just fought and fought over because she had to literally talk her into this fight. So I was a little tired by the end, you know. Come on, I'm thick as fuck. But it, it gets to the best of us. I'm never tripping, but it was not fucked up like really bad for me in this situation. But it looked kind of fucked up, but it's not really because she wasn't really hitting me. But other than that, I don't have no problems with this. It was just like, you have a little more sun, and then you lose sun. I give her the one on this one, but I got her ass in the kitchen. So that's all I care for. Yeah, Pink Cat wrote me over the um, holidays. I don't know, she was saving herself. She just feel like, She's being a bigger person and the drama that we had, it was not that serious. It really wasn't because I was being a real one. So, you know, everything is squash. I, me and her now, we just, we cool, but it ain't no beef. And I just let it go.
<laughs> literally hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> that was funny. I ain't gonna lie. Like, um, I felt. Stop playing with me. Like, I just sat there and told her, wait, give me a second. They just said there's only one more ticket left. It's either you or me, baby. I'm not with choosing me. Come on, I fucking love. So, Yashi Yoshi, whatever the fuck the bitch name is, I don't, I don't fucks with that. Like, I don't like a person that try to take over you. You was just a fan in the outside waiting room. So it's like, now we in front of Dom and you want to act up. I don't like that shit. And I really... It really got to me, and it's still getting to me now, because it's just like, ugh, why would you try to take something from me? And I'm being respectful, and I said, hold on. You hear me say, hold on. So she got what she deserved, pushed right off that motherfucking uh, stage. Don't play with me, you hear me? And that shit was crazy, like. <laughs> yes, um, for the whole minute, I wish I would have had the opportunity to get through and go through, but I had personal reasons to not going, and I just wish, um, Maybe I could do season two, but I'm not really a season two person. I like to do it one time, one time only. So, but it looked like a great experience, and I'm kind of mad that I missed out on that experience with the men. The overall auditions, I knew I was gonna kill it like I did. I, I was unprepared. That was crazy part about it. I was very unprepared. I was just coming off the road, coming to Atlanta. I think I had. Um, Oh, no, I definitely, I had my uh, Academy premiere. So I was just prepared for that. I wasn't knowing that I was gonna be able to audition for another show. So when I did do it, I was unprepared. That's how I had the Tinkerbell outfit because that was my Halloween outfit that I didn't get to wear. So y'all got to see it on there, thank God. I think it still look good, you know. But um, I actually had a good experience. We actually had fun. They actually got to ask us a lot of questions and got to experience them. It wasn't just like a rushed audition. And I actually had fun, other than a little push off the, <laughs> push off the uh, stage. But yeah, I actually had fun. At the fashion day, she's like, I want you and your friend. She called both of us out, so we both came out. No, I ain't no team, bitch. <laughs> For me and Monty and Lacey fight, definitely I caught these little thoughts out. I still don't give a fuck, and I still stand on what the fuck I said. Like, you talk that shit, you think I wasn't gonna be ready for it, and shit, shit happens. But actually, I do bruise easily, so that wasn't really nothing. You could see when I was fighting Lacey, I wasn't even feeling Monty motherfucking hits. Come on now, baby, that's how I already did you in the motherfucking um, at the store, when we was at the store. But at the same time, I stand on respect. If you gonna talk that shit, be about that shit when I be ready. It don't matter if you wanna jump me, whatever. I'm gonna stand 10 toes ready for any bitch. Oh, like I'm always ready. But at this point, security was not paying attention. Even though the little bitch was moving a little fast, but she wasn't really hitting. But at that point in time, I felt disrespected because bitch, I should, my, I should not be able to, to you in me and I get hit in the motherfucking face. So I was feeling a little hurt by that situation. But at the same time, I'm ready for whatever that get thrown at me and see anything get thrown at me. <laughs> but I just feel like I don't change nothing that happened. Everything happens for a reason. And I was happy that it happened because I said everything from the beginning. I just don't deal with disrespecting me. Like, we can do whatever, talk all the shit in the world, just don't disrespect me, and it won't have to fight. But at that point in time, shit got real, and I was ready for whatever. <laughs> and maybe you could see it was for whatever. <laughs> so, and does y'all understand, like, it, it be long days, long hours, we be getting drunk. Sometimes I only eat one time a day, but the experience of the Academy was showing how we already back girls try to make us a little proper you know some more than others <laughs> but it was a good experience I never met I never watched them before this so I got to meet everybody 
genuinely not being judgmental and everything, so, but I still got into a couple of fights, you know? It's big heavy, you know? Who else got for that one? <laughs> I just was like, I want them both as to come on, like, cause I don't, you not about to tit for tat of who wanna fight who. Cause that's why I gave scared, like, I mean, when they gave me scary that they didn't know who wanted to fight, but it was really my um, first attempts was just to Lacey because Lacey was talking that shit. I didn't even know I was going to be fighting money. You get what I'm saying? You, I'm gonna know I'm gonna argue with her because that was her friend at that time. So, okay, a little argument, but it was just like, at that point in time, I'm not about to tit for tat, just both, bring them both. I didn't give a fuck. And I still didn't give a fuck, and I still would do it again. <laughs> like, I didn't change. I feel like at that point in time, I didn't give a fuck, <laughs> for real. Come with it. This pussy is good. What's your most most embarrassment moment in public? Have you watched all that TV? I got a lot of embarrassing moments, I feel like. When I was drunk, I was blacked out and I apologized to Monty. I feel like that was an embarrassing moment because I never apologized. I don't do that. Like, that was all over the world, so yeah, that's where I feel like that was the most embarrassing moment. I don't apologize. No one's supposed to get that. What's the secret you know about someone on our that's TV? <laughs> <laughs> if someone offered you one million dollars to break up with your girlfriend or boyfriend, would you do it? I'm ready right now. Like, <laughs> I need that million. You hear me? Got to. I buy. I buy another. <laughs> someone you pretend to like but secretly hate. Someone you like but pretend to you secretly hate. I don't think I have one of them, because I tell it like it is. So, yeah, I'll take a shot for that one, just because, you know, I let people know I don't like them. Ain't no secret. <laughs> wow, funny one. Have you ever farted and then blamed it on someone else? <laughs> yes, my child. <laughs> she hates when I do that. But look here, you can't see a woman fight. Look here, it's always the kid, it's always the kid. When it's silent, it's always the kid. Like, girl, what you just, you could go in the bathroom real quick. Yeah, blame it on your kid. <laughs> blame it on the kid. If you could smack someone right now, who would it be? <laughs> Every bitch I don't like on Loud Ass TV. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is nosy. Have you ever had sex with someone famous? Yes. <laughs> we gotta tell who? I hate on my TJX6, the biggest scammer at the time, number one. Yeah. <laughs> What's the best impression you can do? You have to perform it. Fuck it, me. How fucking long? <laughs> what the fuck going on? The biggest, you know. Can you do nothing better than that? <laughs> you know what? Well, from these questions, y'all is nosy as hell. But that's the truth. So you got it from Big Heaven. So we about to get into the comments and I'm about to see what y'all be saying about me. It's big fucking heaven, but you know, y'all be trying it. Some of y'all haters is just, you know, so I'm gonna put y'all on blast and tell you how I feel. Big mama energy, eight 
8110 says, what you want, heaven, is great for TV. Of course, you know. Come on, it's the big heaven, not the little one. It's Michelle, not big heaven, snatching wigs. Yes, girl, I was. <laughs> Shatavia's AMG, heaven always getting her ass whooped. If you feel that way, you just don't like me, but I don't feel that way. A couple fights, I won, so you just really hate me. <laughs> go live, Jane. Heaven knows she can't fight, get mad loud. Somebody go get pink. She want a scar. Girl, look here. What scar did pink, pink put on me? We not even gonna go there. Like, it's okay. That's how you feel. Let me see. Ke Kelly Kells. They not fucking with Big Heaven. Big Bully. I know what it is. Hello. <laughs> I am Rigid Grant. At this point, Heaven needs to start saying goodbye because every time she say hello, she get beat, up, dragged, molly wop, stumped, and blew out. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you feel like I say hello, that's what happens. No, the mad ass hoes get mad. They really be my friends at first. And then they switch up because they see that they gotta be real to me. If you're not real, then shit happens. But I don't feel like I got mopped up, slapped up, and all the whatever you just said. But it's okay, I understand. Um, Lou, what's this? Lou Kira. With two A's, heaven get beats up. That's what she known for, if that's what you feel. But I thought I was known for making y'all good TV, being loud, and being a little special. <laughs> you know how the fuck going on. It's okay. Heaven, uh, cool ass, and heaven keeps saying she beating, she's beating up anybody, not one person she beats up, talks about linking back up. That's my point. That they take that one little feel like they beat my ass, but never want to see me again. I like you. You know, you seize it. You seize it. You seize it. Deontron Cornell 92. Heaven is good for TV. I feel like she can't fight like that, but she get out there with whoever, and she must be seen on TV. I don't care. I love Big Heaven, not the little one. And you know this, man. And I love you for that. You see through the hate. You see through the people that always just want to see me on the bottom. But I'm going to always rise to the top. And that's just big heaven way. I fucking well. You know something. It's big motherfucking heaven. That was for the comments. You know, you love to hate me, but you love to watch me. So, you know, keep coming. Keep letting them know. It's big fucking heaven. Not the little one. Hello. Oh, we here with Big Heaven. We're getting to these comments. Y'all wanted to ask me some things, so we got what y'all wanted to ask me. I'm about to get straight to it, okay? It's Big Heaven. Come on now. Capricorn Playground. I just want to know why she's so loud and can't fight. One, I am from Detroit. If you go to Detroit, you will see everybody is motherfucking loud. I just don't give a fuck. You hear me? And you want to hear me. But I don't understand. Some you win, some you lose some, but I'm gonna always fight no matter what. So if you feel like I can't fight, that's what your opinion is, not mine. I'm gonna always swing. So <laughs> I'm here for it. Hello, it's like um, Big Lex Baddies. Would I do Big Lex Baddies a collection again? And the thoughts on Big Lex. Big Lex Betty collection was an experience out of this world. You get what I'm saying? I respect the whole process of that, what they got going on with it, but no, I would not go back. The thoughts on Big Lex, I have no problem with her. We don't, you know, see eye to eye on certain things, but it's not no beef. I wish her well, and that's just it. I'm a grown woman, so I just let it be. <laughs> and then, what that I got stood mama or stood on my mama. It said what I do pink a rematch. Um so me and Pink had discussed and talked in DMs. We left that beef alone, so no, I cannot fight her and do a rematch. It's not that serious. We over, we grown. I mean, it happens, whatever happens. I got one good one, she got a good one. And that's it. That's just you be grown, grow up. Um, they love Nag Day. 
I don't know if I pronounced it right. But what's my next step? I'm ready to show y'all more of me. Loving side, little flirtatious side, little wild side. I wanna give y'all more of me. I wanna do something different. I don't even have to be about fighting. If a fight come, I'm ready. You get what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to show more of me because I'm definitely great for TV. I definitely like to turn up and I definitely like to show my side of what people don't see, my personal side, my loving side, me getting money. I'm gonna always do that. So it's like, I wanna show y'all more and I want y'all to see more of me. Like I'm, I'm ready to show y'all more. How fucking low. I appreciate y'all comments and I appreciate reading y'all questions. But y'all nosy as hell and a little freaky. But other than that, you only gonna get this on a breakdown. Following, now that's TV. How fucking low.